Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the previous episode, we were here in Celadon City, we did some shopping, we did some learning, and now we are here outside of the gym. It's a grass type gym, but real quick, before we start, I want to take care of something. I looked up the moves that our Pokemon have left to learn, and I'm ready to evolve Rex, not Vidalia, I'm ready to evolve Rex into his final form. We will give Rex the Moonstone. Moonstone was used on Rex. What? Rex is evolving. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Rex the Nidorino is no more. We're going to evolve Rex from Nidorino into his final evolution of... Congratulations, your Rex evolved into Nidoking. So now that Rex is Nitto King, we have an increase to power, an increase to a whole, all sorts of things. I simply just was not interested in the remaining moves that Rex could learn, so I evolved him. There is one TM I want to teach him, uh, but other than that, Rex's moves were never like really stand out, best of the best uh, at all. And as such, I'm ready to move on. I am also about ready to evolve Vidalia, I think. There might be one more move I want to learn, uh, but we'll have to see uh, what happens there in the future. Okay, so we're here in the gym now, leading with Growlithe to level up Growlithe a little bit, our newest member of the team, who still has yet to be nicknamed. We'll be returning to Lavender Town eventually, so I'll drop a nickname to him then. Try and learn Odor Sleuth. I will not be learning Odor Sleuth. Okay, press B, no, and then A. There we go. And a Whippin' Bell, or a Weeping Bell. This is the evolved form of Bell Sprout. So like we learned in the previous video, this is a grass type gym, which is why I will be leading Growlithe. And uh, push comes to shove, we're gonna switch to Rex, AKA Nidoking, uh, for the peck ability. And if it goes downhill from there, I don't know what we'll do, but I legitimately don't think we'll get to that point. This should be a pretty easy gym. I think it's going to be a big increase in speed and productivity and all that good stuff from the gym we faced last time. The Electro-type gym was a little difficult because we didn't have a direct counter, but now we 100% have a direct counter, so we'll be totally fine. We have two direct counters, actually. We have Growlithe with Ember and Rex with Peck. I'm not concerned. You guys shouldn't be concerned. This one should be one of the easiest gyms. I'm almost certain of it. Probably not the easiest. Well... You know, it might be the easiest, actually. It might. It might. I'm trying to think of all the gyms we're gonna face in the future. We've got a we've got a streak of some pretty easy gyms coming up, so stay tuned for that. For sure. All right, let's continue to fight the fight here. We did get paralyzed. Uh, that's just like a, a minor inconvenience. It only happened because I spammed the A button and Bite is in the first slot instead of Ember. I think I'll probably switch that out. I think it'd be more efficient to have Ember in the first slot just so I can spam that A button. Like we know I like to do. If I use a Bell Sprout, I will keep fighting with Growlithe. And after this fight, yeah, I think I'm 100% going to switch Ember to the front uh, just so I can spam that A button and get through the fight menu as quickly as we can using a fire type move. Of course, Ember will not be our permanent move for the fire typing at all. We will learn a better one eventually. We could use uh, coins we earned from the game corner, the Celadon or Rocket game corner, and level that into a flamethrower TM. Don't think it's particularly worthwhile right now. Gonna hold off on that uh, just because. So we're gonna we're gonna fight through here just using the Ember, and eventually we'll learn other fire type moves. I think Fire Fang is on the list as well. Tons of good ones, tons and tons of good ones. There's kind of a roundabout way. I don't know if at this point in the game it would be possible to have. Uh, well, there's an Ice Beam TM. So if you had an Ice type Pokemon, that's also really effective against Grass, because like Grass can get frozen or plants can get frozen and uh, die. So that's the uh, that's the deal with that. You could totally use a Ice move if you had that. I don't, and Fire is a more direct way. It's not like it's less or more effective. Youch, we got Paralysis. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's not like it's less or more effective. It's not like fire is better against grass than ice is. They're equal. It's not really a difference at all. It just depends on what you choose to do. Do I have quick attack? If I have... I don't have quick attack. 
I probably won't survive this, so I'm going to switch to Rex to finish off. Oh, okay, I'm going to use a potion then. Where are my potions? Super potion. Yeah, I'm going to use a super potion. I think I wouldn't have survived. Yeah, wrap, would that have done more than seven? It would, oh, it would have done, and I would have had one single HP left. This is just a safe way of getting it done though. And then I'll use a paralyzed heal uh, out of the battle after I switch Ember around and we'll be set. Yeah, truly we'll be totally fine here. Growlithe gets the experience, which is what I'm here for. And there goes Beauty Bridget, my makeup. Yeah. I wasn't reading anyone's text because I was uh, battling a little uh, too focused, you could say. But now we can uh, read, let's see, who's left? How many more gym trainers do we have to fight? It's either three? Is that five? We have five gym trainers to fight? Holy lord. Weren't you just peeking in earlier? That was the old man outside, not me. That trainer had a Bulbasaur and an Ivysaur, and also almost fainted Growlithe, so I gotta go heal. All right, we have four gym trainers left to fight, and in the interest of time, I will probably cut out the fights unless these Pokemon trainers have different Pokemon for me. Welcome to the Celadon Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. That trainer had a Ivysaur, a Gloom, an Oddish, a Weeping Bell, and a Bell Sprout, and also requires me to go heal my Pokemon. The most annoying thing about this gym is you have to cut down this tree every time you enter a loading zone. Which means you leave the gym, cut it down, enter the Pokemon Center, heal, come out of the gym, cut it down again, re-enter the gym, gotta repeat the cycle if you need to heal again. It's a lot to do. I wish trees were permanently cut. It would also make a lot more use for when you have the cut TM. It's not something that's like a crutch. You could go around and cut all the trees you want, and then you'd be safe. It'd be very cool. The only thing I could think of is like, the game designers would have to make sure it wouldn't soft lock you anywhere. Like, if you had cut to get somewhere, you need cut to get out of there. Um, you know. I, the only thing I can think of happening is like if you jump down a ledge and you need to cut the tree at the bottom of the ledge. Uh, anyway, there's three trainers remaining, and I don't know if any of them will have any other unique Pokemon. Uh, right now, Growlithe is level 22, so I'm going to continue to level up Growlithe and we'll see what is going to happen. This trainer over here on the left is up next. And obviously you don't have to beat all these trainers. You have to beat a small amount of them. Look, look, see my Pokemon. I like the grass type. I like they're easy to raise. You don't have to beat them all at all. In fact, what you can do if you want is just take one route. There's a couple of routes you can take through this gym. I happen to be taking uh, literally every single route, but you can take the left side and fight two trainers. You can take the right side and fight two trainers. You can fight the middle road to get three trainers in. Uh, you don't have to fight them all, basically. Okay, youch. I am appalled that Sleep Powder exists. I am appalled that Sleep Powder exists. I used an Awakening. Uh, it's cheap, but I don't care. Because I don't like sleep for my Pokemon. I like to sleep myself. I'm someone who enjoys sleeping. However, I do not like when my Pokemon sleep. Actually, it's a little bit of a fun fact. When I was a child, people, teenagers would say they like to sleep. I'm like, what, what, how do you like to sleep, you know? But then I started enjoying sleep. And it's like, whoa, yeah, you like it. You just do nothing for a little while. You wake up feeling refreshed. It's, uh, it's quite a magical thing, sleep is. I know sometimes some people watch my videos as they fall asleep. So big shout out to you guys. I'm glad I can lull you to sleep. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, a good time, and not, I want to bore myself to sleep. No! That's what the trainer said, not me. Okay, let's get that antidote going right about now. Need an antidote. Only have one antidote, yikes. There we go, cured up the poison. Okay, so we can cut down this tree here, and then there's trainers on either side of Erica. Like I said, you can just walk up the middle to avoid these fights. I'm going to take every single fight, though. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. And I'm taking every single fight solely because I'm a completionist trainer. Hey, this is an Execute. I don't know if we've seen Execute before. Execute is a 
grass type, I think. And when it evolves, it becomes a grass psychic type, which is a very interesting combination. Something a little a little out there, not, not something you'd expect. Pretty cool. Is it already a psychic type? That's an interesting question. Let's find out if it's a psychic type, okay? Let's use Bite and see if it's super effective. If it's super effective, then it is indeed... Growlithe, you suck. Growlithe sucks. Growlithe sucks. Growlithe, you suck. I hope you know that. You suck, Growlithe. I think it knows. Okay, let's use Crush. This is a bad idea, but I am legitimately curious if it is Psychic or not. The answer is yes, it is Psychic, so it is Grass Psychic to start. There we go. And there goes Beauty Lori. Oh, splendid. Okay, so hopefully I can heal up and then come back in, beat the trainer on the right, and then beat Erica, just back to back. No heals, no nothing, I can just jump right into it. That'd be spectacular. We're gonna have to see what happens though, because I don't know, that trainer on the right probably will also have one Pokemon, and it might be a strong one, it might be a weak one. We don't know. But we're gonna find out very, very soon here in Celadon City. Celadon, of course, being another color. I don't know what Celadon is, but green comes to mind, so maybe it's a green color. Who knows? All right, we're back for the final, potentially, time. We're gonna fight the gym leaders. Trainer on the right. Oh, hey, we don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. If you need to use a bug type Pokemon, you can. Someone recently commented, I forget who, but they commented about how Scyther was actually super effective for the psychic type Pokemon you encounter in the game. And that's true. You know, the, I think I said the bug type, right? Yeah, the bug type is a type I often overlook for sure. And, um, you know, it'd be cool to see, God, you're poisoned again. I only had one antidote. Oh my Lord. Maybe I have a berry. Maybe I have a berry. Hold on. This could be fine yet. Maybe I have a berry. Anyway, I haven't ever really looked into the bug type, but yeah, they said Scyther went super, super well against the psychic type Pokemon you have to fight in the game. Apparently the bug type would be good here with grass as well. See, the problem for me is I just don't ever think of the bug type as far as like effectiveness goes. When I think grass, I'm like, give me, give me my fire type. Give me my, uh, I'm gonna say bird type. Give me my flying type, right? If I'm against psychic, it's like, give me dark. Just dark will work. Dark is something that is super effective against psychic type, and that's what I jump to right away. Which the reason why is actually pretty cool. It's because like people are afraid of the dark, and psychic is like a mental thing, you know. People are also afraid of bugs, and that's why uh, the bug type works there as well. Come on, burn! Be a big burn. It's not a big burn. Okay, down goes this trainer. Let's see if I can heal Growlithe on the spot, and we can uh, move on to bigger and better things without leaving to heal the Pokemon Center. All right, there we go. Oh, you. Oh, me. All right, so let's check the bag. If we had something to heal, it would probably be, uh, what would it be? Like a berry, maybe? Let's see, what berries do we have? Paralysis, wake up, cure poison. We have a Petra Berry, awesome. Give it the Petra Berry. You can use berries like normal medicine, by the way. We have an orange berry as well. Do I have a regular potion? That'd be the next cool thing to have. A regular potion. Just a standard old normie potion. You know, we don't, but I am what some would call lazy. I will use 28, about half of a, of a potion. All right, Erica, let's battle. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Oh, will ya now? Here we go. Fighting against the leader Erica. She starts with a victory bell. Fully evolved form of bell sprout. I mentioned I wanted to use one of these. This is what it would have looked like if it were fighting on my team. Okay, we're gonna lead with the Ember, of course. Giga Drain, a very, very powerful move to lead off with. It is the biggest form of Absorb. Absorb is smaller than Mega Drain, which is smaller than Giga Drain. Giga Drain is the highest level of that drain. Takes the most damage and heals the most health. 
with two embers we are down here in the yellow range we're gonna get the acid hit does that gonna leave a poison yikes it was a critical hit okay that's fine growlith did what growlith had to do it's rex's turn to lead now rex is the poison type so using a move like acid will be not effective against it can't poison a poison type all right down goes victorel for 1100 experience points rex is level 31 next up is tangela tangela is another pokemon we have not seen yet looks kind of like spaghetti uh, we're gonna go in with the peck and it's about a little little above the half health there's that giga drain again signature move right there very powerful we want to avoid that took a little a uh, little over 13 health i can't do math in my head it's fine all right giga drain once again each time that deals damage to us it heals the opponent's pokemon as well so you can see it just gains some hp that can get out of hand very very quickly all right rex tanks down the tangla that's superb and next up is the Vile Plume. Vile Plume is a very strong Pokemon, and I feel like being a dummy. I'm gonna switch Rex out, and I wanna see what I can do in terms of other Pokemon. I wanna see what my other Pokemon can do. We're gonna start with a Thunder Wave here. Jupiter using a Thunder Wave to paralyze the enemy Vile Plume. There we go, we get the unable to move prompt. And actually, they tried to uh, paralyze me as well. Okay, as far as that goes, I think that's everything Jupiter can do. So I'm gonna back out. Who else would be cool to fight with? Crush might be, Crush has Bite. That's not gonna be super effective. Protect and Withdraw. Yeah, Crush isn't really super useful here, so I'm gonna switch back to Rex then. I did a good job of introducing Jupiter to the fight uh, instead of just sweeping with Rex. Erica used a full heal. Full heal is a move no, my apologies. It is an item. It is an item that combines the effects of the antidote, the paralyze heal, the awakening, the burn heal, all of that. It is all of that rolled into one. It's very, very powerful. Looks like she used hers to cure the paralysis and is going to get started on the Giga Drain once again. Rex just has to get out with as many pecs as he can. In the unlikely event Rex goes down here, I want to make sure Vile Plume is as low as possible. Now remember, I did mention earlier that Pokemon trainers can use items. It is possible we see the usage of an item here. Unlikely, but possible. It would be cheap for me to use a healing item here, but she used one. So do I feel like using one as well? I don't know. I feel like I won't survive a Mega Drain. Uh, our Giga Drain, my apologies. I'm not gonna survive this Giga Drain, am I? No. Okay, so Vileplume is almost fully healed again. And now all of our good Pokemon are down. So we are going to put Jupiter back out there. Knowing now that the that the full heal has been used, we're gonna drop another Thunder Wave. We're gonna get the paralysis going once again. Really preying on, preying on that unable to move thing. We get hit with the stun spore too. Alright, so Jupiter is now paralyzed as well. A little weird that you can paralyze uh a Pokemon like that, but that's fine. I could use a revive. I don't think I want to though. I'm just gonna use a quick attack. That's not gonna be enough. We're not gonna want to use quick attack. It isn't effective. However, I don't really have another Pokemon to switch to. Huh. Okay. I think I've made this more difficult on myself by trying to be fair. I'm gonna play cheap now. Like I said, I, I don't like using cheap tactics but her vile plume is fully healed again fully healed again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our vidalia out there get vidalia out onto the field this is a level 29 it's very very powerful and i'm going to use a revive i'm gonna use a revive on rex and then i'm also gonna heal rex so we're definitely going to have our our big hitter I'm going to fully restore Rex, and I'm going to use Rex if I absolutely need to. However, in a perfect world, I think my plan would be to finish this fight off with just the Pokemon I have remaining. That would be what I want to see happening. Vileplume is paralyzed. Okay, so Vidalia. With Vidalia out on the field, what do I need to do? Acid isn't... Ah, see, none of these are just going to do that much damage. See, we get hit with the Acid as well. We're going to use Acid against the Vileplume. Yeah, it's just not really a lot. I think that's what it's boiling down to here. 
I, as I said, I want to try and just use the Pokemon I have left remaining. I think that'd be really cool to not have to use Rex again, but I wanted to set that up just in case so I can have that uh, ready for me. In the unlikely event I need to use Rex, I'm going to be able to finish off the gym battle. I'm not going to need to run back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and try again, but I do want to try and take this fight on like it's supposed to. So we're just kind of trading acid shots back and forth here. By daily it down to 1 HP. By daily will definitely be a sacrifice here. Ah, by daily was too slow. That's fine. Okay. Next up we're going to try sending in Crush. Crush will be faster because Crush is not paralyzed. Crush will go first and a single bite was not enough to take it down. So what we need to do here is survive a Giga Drain. We need to survive a Giga Drain or outspeed. Leader Erica used a Hyper Potion. Okay, that's cheap. That's that's cheap. It's a real low blow. And, um, you know, we'll see what Crush can do solo. We'll see what Crush can do solo. Whoa. Whoa, no, 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 no. No way. Rush is insane! Crush is the best Pokemon I've ever had on my in my life! Holy lord. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. My mouth is agape. Crush, the the water type, beat the grass type gym leader. That was bonkers. The rainbow badge makes Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also has Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. See so TM19. TM19 contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that's a wonderful move? I am so, so impressed at what we just saw. Crush, yet again, carries the gym. Crush carried in Brock's gym. Crush clutched up in Misty's gym. Crush clutched up in Erica's gym. Three out of the four gyms were carried by Crush. I'm so impressed. Guys, if you saw that... <laughs> Just hit the like button, my lord. I, I, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm so impressed. My Pokemon are insane. It's so wild. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for now. We have our fourth gym badge. If we go check out the trainer list right here, you can see we have four down there. That's going to be all for now. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You guys have my videos around. We'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Until then, as always, take care.